What's up, y'all? Got a feeling of the feast, so let's get into this tea. We about to get back into Cora, child. That's all I got. Let's get it. Yeah, talking about coming out. Let's see how I work. Uh, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? What, what time it is? 120? Alright. Got the same time with our phones, huh? Something like that. Alright, bet. So, what up, what up, what up, y'all? So, I, I felt like. See, I could have did a YouTube video, but I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I really haven't been felt about YouTube for real, for real lately. I don't know what it is. I've tried to do a video this, but I kind of like did a little video this morning, but it's like, my spirit just telling me like, man, I don't, don't want to do none of that. You feel me? Like, addressing the same topics and shit like that, right? So, I said, you know what? I'm going to just sit this right here in front of y'all face like this. And we're going to speak on two topics. Because it's like, I'm really over a lot of this. Do y'all know it or not? I know y'all might think what y'all think, but if y'all can come in my life in real life, Y'all will really be amazed. Like, that nigga ain't about none of that. You know what I'm saying? But we're going we're gonna to put two things on the table. First of all, let me address let me address my twin, right? Because I think a lot of y'all got this situation kind of life up, which I love it. Because what people don't understand, they hate it. Ooh, they like to tow that up just then. Oh, my God, they like to tow that then. But what people don't understand, they seem to kind of hate it. You know what I'm saying? When people can't get in your business too much. Let me just say this right here real quick, man. When it come down to my twin, I don't play by them. Straight up. Because that's something that y'all would never understand. You know what I'm saying? Twin came into my life when all the Fugazi started happening in June last year. Was it July? June? I think it was June. And she's been in my life since then. She's never left. I know y'all be trying to assume, but you know, this is something that's private that I really, we never, we never put our show on social media. don't have to. But that's like, it's like, this the this the realest female, you know what I'm saying? The that came into my life. I love her to death. And you know, go stay like that. And what's understood don't gotta be explained on that end, you know what I'm saying? Everybody the internet talk about so uh oh, every time he break up somebody, she come back. She never left. <laughs> she was never an assistant. <laughs> it's like there ain't no coming back when you never left. You just think that. Because see, I respect the fact that she see what a young and going through, so she let me get all the love the book away. But uh, uh, avoid that right now. He quick. said the exact same thing. I'm gonna speak on the real situation. It's two things, man. Divorce, my kid. That's simple. Yeah, I gotta stop trying to involve me in, in, in another person's life when I've moved on from that. I'm just honestly being transparent with y'all. You feel me? Like, I have accepted the fact this right here. I've accepted the fact that a lot of y'all think it's okay to for, for a parent to keep their kid away from their father. Alright, I see that because you know the generation a little, bit, a little bit different. Don't nobody know how hard I've been going trying to see my can get a divorce through the last year to be honest. That's all I want. I don't want nothing there, okay? I don't give a so how miserable, how the hatred y'all try to put on me. I don't give a fuck. None of that. I honestly don't. Because that's social media for you. And on top of that, you got to understand something. It's a whole bunch of people that don't know what the feeling going on. They just go on social media and assume and make up their own opinions and their own thoughts. So we can't use Sora. I got it. Social media. Real life is real life. All I want is to be 100% free. I'm single, by the way. So y'all be y'all be swinging up and down. Oh, I live in my own crib. You feel me? Like I know y'all wished all the little allegations and rumors and all that other shit true because that's what y'all want to see. But I'm sorry, I'm him. <laughs> like, like listen, in real life, I'm him. You know, no matter what the fuck anybody say. Let me tell you something. I don't gotta do too much to try to be something that I'm not. I'm him. Mm. Right, see, so you can judge me on social that, media all day, but you see me in real life, you come in my real life, you'll see that, oh yeah. So, I said it to say this. It's like, bro, all I want, I just want to be free. I've been trying to get a divorce for the longest. And I just can't seem to understand this. I sit back sometimes. I'm pretty sure it's anybody else that married. Cause like I just told my friend, I said, listen here. 
if you ain't got no, if you ain't been married, you wouldn't understand this. It seemed like a game to y'all or some shit. This is real life, man. I, I understand if I was the miserable one. You feel me? I'm trying to hold on to a status that I'm obviously not in anymore. I'm not that person. I've been the one papers, judge, lawyers, all that shit has been avoided. So I'm saying that to say this. I've accepted it what it is. All right, cool. I'm moving on in my life. And the way I'm moving on in my life, the past don't exist to me. Now, that doesn't involve my kids. My kids will always be in my heart to the day I die. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to come back in my life very soon. So I just pray to God. I talk to God about that. I don't got to talk to no human beings about that. So I just keep my peace because it's like I understand how y'all women work. A women going to try to hold your kids. They always try to get get back, which is the weirdest ever because the kids got nothing to do with whatever the adults got going on. Or Sometimes all a woman got is the kid. <clears throat> After he done robbed you of everything else. Had going on. That's just 100%. Got nothing to do with that. Oh, I got two little boys. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't seen my kids six months at all. I haven't seen a face call, FaceTime call. I haven't seen them at all. I haven't heard from them. None of that. You feel me? Now, a lot of y'all can laugh and take that for a joke, but imagine if you, you can see your father. You know what I'm saying? Or if you got, you can see your kids if you really love them. Because I know a lot of y'all can portray but it's just me being real. Now, put that to the side. It's like, yo, I'm accepting it. I'm moving on. I'm even on the situation where, like, I promise y'all, I won't speak on this no more. Because I'm dead ass. Like, it don't bother me. I'm over it. Like, I know y'all be swearing up and down like nigga bother But my life is going amazing. I'm good. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm blessed. That nigga be lying. But on the other side of like, bro, I can't sit here and just act like that. I'm not bothered because I can't see my throat. As bad as y'all want me to. Like, if I don't speak on my kid, oh, go take care of your kid. I don't have to take care of my kid. I can't see my kid. That's just that. But, um, like, I'm accepting it, bro. I'm moving on. Don't bring that my way no more. I won't speak on it. Don't speak on me. I won't speak on you. It's just that, it's just that simple. Because the real go see. He, he want her to not speak on him when it's convenient for him. A lot of people are weirdos. You got a lot of fans on social media that are like airheads. You feel what I'm saying? That's just fact. A lot of y'all are airheads. A lot of y'all like the little and entertainment. So I'm not going to sit here and just continue to talk about it because it's like, that's what y'all want to hear. I'm moving on. My I don't even want to speak on this more. I don't care about it no more. Uh, it's, like, uh, it's like, bro, stop, stop, stop bothering me about that. I'll go over there with that. But in my personal life, bro, it's so much that y'all have no clue. I don't understand something, man. I control the narrative in my life, not social media. I put out what I want to be out, and you know, I let people think whatever they want to think. That ain't my opinion. That's that's y'all. Y'all can, you know what I'm saying, create your own scenarios, own opinions on my life that I live every day that I wake up, bathe my balls, put my shoes on, walk these shoes. Other than that, bro, real is real, man. If anybody, if anybody, like, think that that's cool, then all y'all weird. They show what type of people you are. It's just, that, it's just that simple, bro. So, back to my twin. Let me it tell y'all some real shit. Oh, that woman been in my life all like for a year and like what, months now, right? She's seen everything. She's seen everything. She was like next to me throughout the whole process. Social media. I got, a, I got somebody that been in my life that seen everything in real life, that know who I am in real life, that see what I've been dealing with in real life, that know who the other side really is. A lot of y'all easy to be fooled because I don't know. I don't know what the feels. I don't care at this point. He's social stupid. media, social media, people are people. But all I care about is them that know the real, and it's a lot of us that know the real. Please, man, all I'm asking y'all is this right here, gang. If you think that I give any flying about anything else besides get a force and being able to be in my boy's life, something's wrong with you. Bro, I'm Corey SSG, man. Half of you couldn't even get this, the opportunity to stand next to me. Straight up. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that genuinely. A lot of you niggas, that if, they, if you on that side, man, I ain't safe, bro. You niggas couldn't even come hang around me, bro. And that's just me being real. In real life. Social media. In real life. 
Like this, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe he think people like want to like be around him. And, and I said it to say this is like I don't give a fuck about nothing that nobody got to say about me. No, no opinion on none of that, bro. I, I wake up every day and live life happily. God got me. You feel me? But for all the people that really rocking with the shit, like that's weird, bro. It's lame. And all I'm gonna say is this here, bro. Y'all can keep y'all opinions. Y'all can keep y'all 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 suggestions, accusations, all of that. Y'all gotta y'all gotta learn who y'all y'all gotta learn to understand who y'all rocking with, who y'all supporting. Because if y'all really knew the true color behind a lot of these people. You would be disappointed to know that that's the shit you support. I got a lot of allegations put up by my name. No proof stand behind nothing yet. Think about that. Just think about that. No proof meaning what? That you didn't do it? Please. Yeah. <laughs> think about all the allegations that has been put out about me, bro. But no proof came up yet behind nothing. People just going out accusations and assumptions. And you know one thing about life. When you got haters, bro, they go flock with the hate. They want everything that's said about you to be true because that's what they want. Y'all understand that. A lot of y'all don't understand that. If you understand that, keep on being successful. He the you type that's truly going to take it to his grave. want to see you down so bad. That's just life. That's why I don't hang around anybody's. My circle hit different. Social media is social media, you know? Your circle was snitching on you. To Danny. Crazy. That, that, yeah, it's different from real life. A girl asked me that in my DM the other day. She was like, what's the difference between real life and social media? I said real life and social media. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. You see on this app, a person how I be in real life, bro. And people be acting like something in real life, but not like that on social media, but not like that in real life. And a lot of y'all fall for anything. I'm grateful to know that, bro. I'm real as hell. I'm solid. Um, it's like if you know me, you know me. You don't, you don't. It don't matter. But at the end of the day, as long as God know who I am and the people that know who I am know who I am. But I don't tolerate all that, bro. It's like I try my best to be peaceful. Try my best to be smooth, but it's like people just keep poking me, bothering me. I know a lot of people want to keep using situations to like keep a topic going to stay relevant and shit. Like that. I don't give a fuck about that. Shit. I honestly don't. I've been on social media for 13 years, bro. If you think I right, should give a fuck about this, there's something wrong with you. I'd have made a living off this. I'd have moved on. I'm on the biggest. I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have had this phase already. I'm in a phase where I'm teaching y'all how to make money on this. I'd have did it already. Still doing it and making a living off it. But all that drama and negativity and song, it's like the trolling is I moved on from it. And like, all right, cool. I I I just soak the I just soak what I can out of that shit. Feel me? Like when people play with me, I make I turn lemonade to lemonade. People get mad because they can't never get under my skin. I understand it. I'd be mad too if I knew that damn I can't never get this nigga mad. I can't never get under this nigga skin. Baze baze. I done did and I I done made decisions you know that I ain't proud of. I done moved out of emotions. But that's me taking accountability to my own. I ain't got to worry about what other people say about that. Long as God know that I learned from a lot of my situation, that's all that matters. But anything else is like that's ready, man. But all I'm going to say is this here. Moving forward, y'all. Tell y'all just like this. Corey only focused on my life, my music, putting people on. Same thing I've been doing for the longest. You know, people get on here and act like they've been broke. I don't even want to speak on smoke because I'm tired of going over the same. It's like, how can you go over the same? You keeping it real, honest, blunt truth, but you know, people don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear fugazi ass. They want to hear made up lies. They want to. I don't. I don't understand it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just then I'm then. I right, look. Say this. However y'all want to live, y'all do that. Leave me out of that, bro. But don't bring up nothing else to me. I promise y'all. I, I, I genuinely. I genuinely. I, I can't express this, bro. I genuinely moved on from a lot of shit. I don't care about them. But you see, I, re I barely speak on it. Barely speak on it. I just keep I keep to myself. I only speak on it when it just comes to keep coming to me. But I, but it'd be so weird because it's like, for example, right? The moment I say I miss my kid, oh, he miserable. <laughs> it like, God. It like, the moment I say, yo, I just want a divorce. I'm tired of being in this. I just want to be let free. Oh, he miserable. Oh, he try to get attention. It's like, like, God damn. It's like this is real life situations and y'all gotta flip it every time. So that's why y'all don't see me speak on it. Now, I be getting irritated even when I be saying bitches in the DMs sometimes. Like, go take care of your kids. Like, huh? I think y'all like drama. Oh, I know y'all do. I'm at that point where I'm over that shit. So, uh -huh. I understand y'all want to know my life just as you bad as y'all want to, but y'all can't. I got a lot of shit people don't know about. My life is private. I laugh, I have fun. For an example, like people swell but down, they know about me and my twin so much, but I would never know that girl been in my life every day since she been here and been real, 
real love, real genuine support. Like, it's just like a real human. Like, it ain't all that fugazi shit. She ain't with that internet. Let me tell you something. It hit different when you talk to somebody that ain't trying to make a living off social media. They got a real life. A lot of people have to try to make a living off social media. That's all they have. They don't have nothing else. I have a brand. I have a business. And What's I up, have y'all? Got a family feed, so let's get I into this tea. We're about to get into court. Live off social media. That's why y'all don't see me on here as much as I used to be. Because my life is straight. No matter how, no matter what you think, your assumptions, I'm good. I don't got to get on here and prove a point to people. You know what I'm saying? I've learned so much. And it's just like as I'm elevating... I make money from off of what y'all dumbass put on the internet. Y'all want to put it on the internet? Ain't no way. I'm going to miss out on that coin. Why would I do that? Y'all heard, um, what's the name? Juicy J say, made so much money off of dummies. If y'all decide to put y'all business out here, why wouldn't I react to it? Oh, right. <laughs> it's showing me. Don't you pull that. Don't you pull that, boy. Hey, slow that down, boy. You know, 392. I see you, buddy. But, um, yeah, it's like I don't got to get on here and prove a point to nobody, bro. I try my best. You know, I, like, if I ain't, if I ain't on here motivating people, like, having fun, giving y'all entertainment, I ain't on here trying to prove no point to nobody, bro. Y'all better move. The internet is where it started. Be mad at me. Hello. I'm gonna have to pull the Draco out. <laughs> I mean, you go alone, bro. You get your dog control that whole gangster. Yeah. But y'all see what I'm saying, though, huh? No. I'm pretty sure y'all understand what I'm saying. For all the ones that, that's genuine, all the people that's real, all the people that got a real heart, y'all get what I'm saying, huh? Imagine dealing with this type of shit, bro. Imagine you just wanna move on from a situation and they hold it in over your head, bro. It's, yeah. Niggas be talking about a real heart. Boy, this is a gaslighting nigga right here. He would drive me crazy. Y'all, this man literally treated Karma like she was the scum of the earth. He still talk about it like she ain't nothing. Every chance he get, he disrespecting her motherhood. And she the one who gotta be responsible for them while your ass ain't around. You're not around, unfortunately, because she feels as though you're going to take him from her. He live on TikTok right now. What is he saying? He's right. It's starting to get real lame. I can't make this up. Really. So, so with that being said, I just kind of like want to address certain stuff. Because y'all see I don't be addressing a lot of stuff. I was going to do a YouTube video. I'm going to show y'all. I was going to do a YouTube video. Oh, shit. yesterday, right? I'm gonna just keep it one thousand hundreds with y'all. I don't really, I don't really get on here and talk too much about y'all. About a lot of, shit. I'm gonna keep it a band with y'all because I ain't even sit here and smoke. I was gonna do a YouTube video. I was sitting down. I got, I got somebody here with me. Everything. My friends, they see me playing all this. They're like, okay, how you want to dress this? So I was gonna do a video yesterday. I was sitting down, I'm trying to be like, how I want to dress this because it's like I don't. I'm tired of talking about the same. Like. I done left my exes in the past. I don't care about none of that. Them situationships, too much. Each relationship I had was just too much. That's it. So it wasn't nothing real too real, you feel me? But I was being played with. But I, I would go through a whole video addressing a lot of stuff, man. Like, just keeping it real. But then I say to myself, it's like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, bro, I'm so tired of addressing this, man. It's like, I just, I don't, I don't care for it. I'm like, I understand it. It's what the social media want to see. But it's like, bro, a nigga is tired of addressing the same. Man. So like, stop. A nigga just want to move on, bro. Well, I've, I've done moved on, but it's like, I'm just tired of like, you know, like have to go backwards. Like the past is in the past. That's just that. So, like I wasn't even going to address a lot of that shit. I started on the video. I said, you know what? It's, I don't even want to do it no more because it's pointless. And with that being said, it's like, I'm looking at it right now. Like, I had the whole World thing written in out. his hand. Right. Yesterday, somebody sent me a video with my ex. It was so funny to me because it was like, damn, what type of games they playing? It's like, I don't know nothing about nothing that they're going on. I don't pay attention to that. I swear to God, I don't pay attention to that side at all. But when, I, when they sent it to me, I was like, okay. Yeah, here we go. They, they, they trying to control. They trying to create narratives and shit. And it's so felt because it's like, 
the narratives and the picture that's being painted to make me look is so funny because if you go on YouTube, y'all can see the real. It's like, it's just awful gauges, all the allegations and the way they paint pictures and how they were treated and shit. It's all fake. But it's okay though, because I understand people gonna have to do anything to try to keep their name alive and, you know, build up a fan base on their own. I get it. But I don't gotta do that because, see, people know me in real life. You feel what I'm saying? Like, people that have met me in real life, people that have been watching me for years, they know who I am. They don't gotta sit here and try to, like, I don't got to get on here and lie and paint a picture and try to create false allegations and and, and, and shit like that to keep my name alive. I don't got to do that, bro. I'm just being real with y'all. It, it just, it, it hit different. And like, I'm I'm moving on with a pure heart, bro. Like, it is what it is. Like, I know, I know what the going on. I know what real, I know how she was. Y'all don't. So that's why it's easy for y'all to hear something and be like, oh, this what happened. Oh my God, I can't believe that happened. And y'all just believe it. The reason I don't even try to address you no more because it's like women go rock with women. And women <coughs> like the same as live because y'all be in Niggas like the truth and you so full of shit. He's so full of shit. It's disgusting. He don't own up to nothing. Talk about a narcissistic nigga. Nigga. He's so narcissistic. It's, the, it's exhausting, bro. The same boat. A lot of y'all in the same boat. You know how many women? It's exhausting. It's miserable, bro. <laughs> but I'm going to get this and coin. Just in case, Corey, like, why you react to it? Because I'm going to get type my of coin. shit that y'all support, y'all gravitate to it because y'all all in that same boat. So there's no need for niggas like, well, I don't think we go through, we move on. I mean, you know, let me get my hips straight. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me run my, let me, let me, let me boss up even harder. Let me go out and, and live life and enjoy life and you feel me? That's what I'm on. But for some reason, it's like, this is attached to me and I can't get it. I'm trying to get it detached, but I can't. Because it's like the person is avoiding this It's weird. And y'all support this Y'all think it's funny. Y'all think it's cool. It's like, bro. I think it's amazing. It's happy as they say they are. Sign these papers. Let me see my kid. I ain't bothering you. At all. I swear to God, I wish you nothing but the best. And that's what all situations. You can't. with my last situation. Most I'm trying to scrub my whole character for what? For what? Right? Most of this. Because you couldn't get out of me what you wanted? So for what? Where do I hear this at? Because I ain't like the mother niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm too pure, too genuine, too real. Like, even in that situation, right? There was no reason for a person to go that far and do that type of damage that they tried. <laughs> I was just saying, bro. Because you got to think about it, bro. I understand, like, if, if, if a person did something to you, cheated on you, like, just did something. I ain't do not a goddamn thing at all. I swear to God, I did. Only, only, only the people in real life know what's going on. They know, like, what the. F so it's like, even that situation is like, when a person can't beat you, bro, they try to destroy you. And like I was mm. telling them, like, you gotta learn how to control your emotions. The best thing that I've done so far, bro, is control my emotions. Like, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a band with y'all. Like, last year when this was happening, it was real, bro. I'm a human being, my nigga. So it's like I I know how real and genuine I am. He say the same thing so every day. being put out and try to be painted this way to try to like make me look this way. It's like you found what? Nigga, girl? I, I reacted out, out of emotions majority <laughs> nigga, of the time because nigga was hot. It. Like man, y'all pairing my top. But I went through that and I just kept God first through the whole thing. Send and it's like it. now I've learned so much. It's like okay, you got to those type of people. With, 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 with <clears throat> kindness. With we gotta silence. get to some like, AI let video. Let them crash making, out on their own. Let them make themselves look crazy. And then in the long run, people gonna really see the truth of what it really is. You don't gotta do too much talking. That's why I haven't been talking that much. I've been just sitting back, just watching everything play out and letting everybody else show their hand. And I'm in this point now where it's like, all right, cool. I'm reacting very differently. And People can't get over on me. People can't get me out of my element. People can't make me crash out with them because that's what they want. A lot of y'all fall into that trap. I fell into that trap where people would act like they this and that, and then they'll try to get you out of your element because that's what they want. Uh -uh, we ain't frying like that. I ain't doing it no more. I'm done with that. Like, niggas, like, more high vibration. So, I don't know, man. Y'all seeing a nigga just go through some weird shit. Oh, I'm just sitting back and looking at a lot yes, of shit happen. I don't be coming to Celeste no more. I be moving on. Oh, let's go, good. Yeah. I just got the gym. Yeah. I feel great. <laughs> Cuz you always be figuring out. And that, that's why I be pissed off. I be like, huh? Are you? 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I just said. Man, I, I almost hit you in your face. <sighs> Let's go! I feel great. Like I've been feeling every other day after I got the gym. But I'm just at that point in my life, man, where it's Look like, all right, I'm done. I'm done Eat addressing a lot of the Put shit, a cute man. outfit on. You know what I'm saying? It's like on social media, you got a lot of low. <clears> how you got much a lot is of it, cuz? Airhead. You can't never be. This is what I learned, bro. No disrespect. You can't be on a level in life where a lot of them are not it. They haven't reached their all and think that they're going to stand you. It ain't going to happen. Less. You go scratch yourself no, out. No, nigga. You go scratch yourself out trying to prove a point to a lot of more airheads, a lot of them who can't comprehend, a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? They they can't even relate to what you're going through, what you're in, because they haven't been there. They haven't experienced it. They're not even there. So it's like, that's why I don't even get on here and explain a lot of stuff more, because like I'm talking to a lot of airheads. Most women want a man. They're like talking. Oh, my God. Where is All right, that yeah, again? cool. Say this. Like, you feel me? Man, it don't work that way, bro. You know, it like, just don't work that way. And I had to learn it the hard way. Like a lot of these, they just, <clears throat> they, they, this, like for example, you know what I realized in the first place? I was sitting down, thank God I've never been this type of person. Like even though I've been on social media for over, wait, I've been on this video for over 10 years, 11 years, I've never been a person that sits and consumes someone else's personal life, personal business so much. <laughs> I think he really be like believing what he be saying, y'all. And that's what I mean, like, we have absolutely seen this nigga cheat. We've seen him degrade. We've seen him disrespect. We've seen him downplay. We've seen him at all the craziest heights of disrespect for a wife and a woman. Right? Cool. No problem. But then be trying to come to us and convince us that that's not what happened is what really, really bothers me. It's like, you don't think we was there? Like, we was, we was watching. We, you know? So, and then, you know, he loved to play the, well, you, you know, you got to make money on social media, da, 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 but then when a nigga get the T-page in him, he don't like that T-page. You know what I'm saying? But, convenient when he do want the T-page. You know? So, that's why I always tell y'all, don't let a nigga um, trick you out your position, ever. Because I just don't care that much. Like, I'm, I'm, I got common sense. It's like, bro, you're not in this person's life. You don't know what the person Four really going through. Trial, you, don't know, you don't know where's lies, what's the truth. Videos, you don't know none of that. Like, you just going off assumptions. Four dollars, so like, 15 I'm videos? I'm not going to sit and put and how my much energy after that? into, like, trying to think that I know a person's life more than they than they, they know their damn self. <laughs> it don't, so it's how like, do it's I the create shit ever, if you get what I'm saying. It's like, how the fuck hey, you know me? You never met me. You don't know what I've been going through. You don't know my heart. You don't know what I've done. You don't know what's been done to me. You don't know none of that. So you just see what you see, and you create your own picture, and you just you believe. <laughs> oh, bro, I swear to God, it's like it's just weird to me, man. It always been weird to me, but it's like that's why I tell people like you gotta control the narrative, bro. Because people go think what they want to think. They go assume what they want to assume. Like for example, like for me and Precious, for example, right. Nobody don't know nothing about us for real, for real. But the people that's in our circle, the people that know us in real life, right? They know our bond. But we don't, we haven't posted a lot of this. We haven't, there's so much that we don't put on social media at all, right? And people just see what they see. Mother, oh, that's his next victim. The whole time you wouldn't even know like who this person really is. And you don't know what this person means to me. You don't know <laughs> the value this person is in my life. We you know exactly know the, who your rebound is. We do. Love that we have. You don't know the bond that we have. You just see a picture of somebody and you just go off just to something assume it. Oh yeah, that's the next victim. It's like it you see what definitely I'm saying? is. Like people gotta stop thinking that they know everything when you don't know everything. Sometimes minding your business the best thing ever and just sit back and just watch how it play out. Instead of just seven, 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 once you put them assumptions out there, you gotta stick with that. And that's how we live. We live in the social media world. You gotta turn my camera out. Phones, huh? Something like that. All right, bet. So, 
What up, what up, what up, y'all? So, I, I felt like... So I could have did a YouTube video, but I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I really haven't been felt about YouTube for real, for real lately. I don't know what it is. I've tried to do a video this, but I kind of, like, did a little video this morning, but it's like... My spirit just telling me, like, man, I don't, don't want to do none of that. You feel me? Like, addressing the same topics and shit like that, right? So, I say, you know what? I'm going to just sit this right here in front of y'all face like this. And we're going to speak on two topics. Because it's like, I'm really over a lot of this shit. Literally, y'all know it or not. I know y'all might think what y'all think. But if y'all can come in my life in real life, y'all will really be amazed. Like, that nigga ain't spot none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But we're going we're gonna to put two things on the table. First of all... Let me address, let me address my twin, right? Because I think a lot of y'all got this situation kind of like up, which I love it. Because what people don't understand, they hate it. Ooh, they like to tow that up just then. Oh my God, they like to tow that up. But what people don't understand, they seem to kind of hate it. You know what I'm saying? When people can't get in your business too much. Let me just say this right here real quick, man. When it comes down to my twin, I don't play about them. Straight up. Because that's something that y'all would never understand. You know what I'm saying? Twin came into my life when all the Fugazi started happening in June last year. Was July? June? It was June. And she's been in my life since then. She's never left. I know y'all be trying to assume, but you know, this is something that's private that I really, we never, we never put our show on social media. We don't have to. But that's like, it's like, this the, this the realest female, you know what I'm saying? The that that came into my life. I love her to death. And you know, go stay like that. And what's understood don't got to be explained on that end, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, the internet talk about, so, uh, every time he break up somebody, she come back. She never left. <laughs> she was never an assistant. <laughs> so, there ain't no coming back when you never left. You just think that. Because, see, I respect the fact that she see what a youngin going through, so she let me get all the love the way. But, uh, uh. Avoid that right He quick. said the exact same thing. I'm going to speak on the real situation. It's two things, man. Divorce, my kid. That's him. Y'all got to stop trying to involve me in, in, in another person's life when I've moved on from that. I'm just honestly being transparent with y'all. You feel me? Like, I have accepted the fact, this right here. I have accepted the fact that a lot of y'all think it's okay to... For, for a parent to keep their kid away from their father. All right, I see that. Because, you know, the generation is a, a little bit different. Don't nobody know how hard I've been going trying to see my kid get a divorce through the last year, to be honest. That's all I want. I don't want nothing there, okay? I don't give a fuck. 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 None of that shit. I honestly don't. Because that's social media for you. And on top of that, you got to understand something. It's a whole bunch of people that don't know what the flick going on. They just go on social media and assume and make up their own opinions and their own thoughts. So we can't use Sora, got it. Social media. Real life is real life. All I want is to be 100% free. I'm single, by the way. So y'all be y'all be swinging up and down. Oh, I live in my own crib. You feel me? Like, I know y'all... Wish all the little allegations and rumors and all that other shit true because that's what y'all want to see. But I'm sorry, I'm him. <laughs> like, like, listen, in real life, I'm him. You know, no matter what everybody is saying. Let me tell you something. I don't got to do too much to try to be something that I'm not. I'm him. Mm. All right, see, so you can judge me on social media all day, but you see me in real life, you come to my real life, you'll see that. Oh, yeah. So I said it to say this. It's like, bro, all I want, I just want to be free. I've been trying to get a divorce for the longest. And I just can't seem to understand this. I sit back sometimes. I'm pretty sure it's anybody else that married. Because like I just told my friend, I said, listen here. If you ain't got no kid, if you ain't been married, you wouldn't understand this. It seemed like a game to y'all. This is real life, man. I, I understand if I was the miserable one, you feel me, I'm trying to hold on to... A status that I'm obviously not in anymore. I'm not that person. I've been the one papers, judge, lawyers, all that has been avoided. So I'm saying that to say this. I've accepted it what it is. Alright, cool. I'm moving on in my life. And the way I'm moving on in my life, the past don't exist to me. 
Nah, that doesn't involve my my for always be in my heart to the day I die. And I'm pretty sure that they're gonna come back in my life very soon. So I just pray to God. I talk to God about that. I don't gotta talk to no human beings about that. So I just keep my peace because it's like I understand how y'all women work. A women gonna try to hold your key to always try to get get back, which is the weirdest ever because the king got nothing to do with whatever the adults got going on. Or Sometimes all a woman got is the king. Mm. After he done robbed you of everything else. Had going on. That's just 100%. I got nothing to do with that, though. I got two little boys. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't seen my kids six months at all. I haven't seen a face call, FaceTime call. I haven't seen them at all. I haven't heard from them. None of that. You feel me? Now, a lot of y'all can laugh and take that for a joke, but imagine if you, you can see your father. You know what I'm saying? Or if you guys you can see your kids, if you really love them. Because I know a lot of y'all can portray that. It's just me being real. Now, put that to the side. It's like, yo, I'm accepting it. I'm moving on. I'm even on the situation where, like, I promise y'all, I won't speak on this no more. Because I'm dead ass. Like, it don't bother me. I'm over it. Like, I know y'all be swearing up and down like nigga bother But my life is going amazing. I'm good. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm blessed. That nigga be lying. But on the other side of like, bro, I can't sit here and just act like that. I'm not bothered because I can't see my throat. As bad as y'all want me to. Like, I don't speak on my kid. Oh, go take care of your kid. I don't I take care of my kid. I can't see my kid. That's just that. But, um, like, I'm accepting it, bro. I'm moving on. Don't bring that my way no more. I won't speak on it. Don't speak on me. I won't speak on you. It's just that, it's just that simple. Because the real go see. He, he want her to not speak on him when it's convenient for him. A lot of people are weirdos. You got a lot of fans on social media that are like airheads. You feel what I'm saying? That's just fact. A lot of y'all are airheads. A lot of y'all like the little man entertainment. So I'm not going to sit here and just continue to talk about it because it's like, that's what y'all want to hear. I'm moving on in my life. I don't even want to speak on this no more. I don't care about it no more. Uh, it's, like, uh, it's like, bro, stop, stop, stop bothering me about that. And I'll go over there with that. But in my personal life, bro, it's so much that I have no clue. I don't understand something, man. I control the narrative in my life, not social media. Yeah. I put out what I want to be out, and y'all, I let people think whatever they want to think. That ain't my opinion. That's that's y'all. Y'all can, you know what I'm saying, create your own scenarios, own opinions on my life that I live every day that I wake up, bathe my balls, put my shoes on, walk these shoes. Other than that, bro, real is real, man. If anybody, if anybody, like, think that that's cool, then all y'all weird. They show what type of people you are. It's just, that, it's just that simple, bro. So, back to my twin. Let me it tell y'all some real shit. Oh, that woman been in my life all like for a year and like what, months now, right? She's seen everything. She's seen everything. She was like next to me throughout the whole process. Fuck social media. I got, a, I got somebody that been in my life that seen everything in real life, that know who I am in real life, that see what I've been dealing with in real life, that know who the other side really is. A lot of y'all easy to be fooled because I don't know. I don't know what the feels. I don't care at this point. He's social stupid. media, social media, people are people. But all I care about is them that know the real, and there's a lot of us that know the real. Please, man, all I'm asking y'all is this right here, gang. If you think that I give any flying about anything else besides get a force and being able to be in my boy's life, something's wrong with you. I'm Corey SSG, man. Half of you couldn't even get the opportunity to stand next to me. Straight up. Huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that genuinely. A lot of you niggas, that if, they, if you on that side, man, ain't safe, bro. You niggas couldn't even come hang around me, bro. And that's just me being real. In real life. Social media. In real life. Like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe he think people like want to like be around him. And, and I said it to say this. is like I don't give a fuck. Nothing that nobody got to say about me. No, no opinion on none of that, bro. I, I wake up every day and live life happily. God got me. You feel me? But for all the people that really rocking with the shit, like that's weird, bro. It's lame. All I'm gonna say is this here, bro. Y'all can keep y'all opinions. Y'all can keep y'all 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 suggestions, accusations, all of that shit. Y'all gotta y'all gotta learn who y'all y'all gotta learn to understand who y'all rocking, who y'all supporting. Because if y'all really knew the true color behind a lot of these people, you would be disappointed to know that that's the shit you support. 
I got a lot of allegations put up by my name. No proof staying behind nothing yet. Think about that. Just think about that. No proof meaning what? That you didn't do it? Please. Yeah. <laughs> think about all the allegations that has been put out about me, bro. But no proof came up yet behind nothing. People just going out accusations and assumptions. And you know one thing about life. When you got haters, bro, they going to flock with the hate. They want everything that's said about you to be true because that's what they want. Y'all understand that? How do y'all understand that? If you understand that, keep on being successful. He the type that's truly going to take it to his grave. A lot of people want to see you down so bad. That's just life. That's why I don't hang around anybody's. My circle hit different. Social media is social media, you know? Your circle was snitching on you. To Danny. Crazy. I, 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 different from real life. A girl asked me that in my DM the other day. She was like, what's the difference between real life and social media? I said, real life and social media. <laughs> That's the difference. You see on this app, hey, this is how I be in real life, bro. And people be acting like something in real life, but not like that on social media, but not like that in real life. And a lot of y'all fall for anything. I'm grateful to know that, bro. I'm real as hell. I'm solid. Um, it's like, if you know me, you know me, you don't, you don't. It don't matter. But at the end of the day, as long as God know who I am and the people that know who I am know who I am. But I don't tolerate all that, bro. It's like I try my best to be peaceful. I try my best to be smooth. But it's like people just keep poking me, bothering me. I know a lot of people want to keep using situations to like keep a topic going and stay relevant. And shit. I don't give up about that shit. I honestly don't. I've been on social media for 13 years, bro. If you think I right to give up about this shit, something wrong with you. I done made a living off this, I done moved on, I'm on the biggest, I done, I, done, I done had this phase already. I'm in a phase where I'm teaching y'all how to make money on this, I done did it already. Still doing it, and making a living off it. But all that drama and negativity, I don't, it's like the trolling and moved on from it. It's like, all right, cool. I, 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 just soak the, I just soak what I can out of that shit, feel me? Like, when people play with me, I make, I turn lemonade to lemonade. People get mad because they can't never get under my skin. I understand it. I'd be mad too if I knew that. Damn, I can't never get this nigga mad. I can't never get on this nigga skin. Baze, baze. I'd have did. And I'd have made decisions. You know that I ain't proud of. I'd have moved out of emotions. But that's me taking accountability to my own. I ain't got to worry about what other people say about that. Long as God know that I learned from a lot of my situation, that's all that matters. But anything else is like that's relevant. But all I'm going to say is this here. Moving forward, y'all. Tell y'all just like this. Corey only focused on my life, my music put people on, same thing I've been doing for the longest, you know, people get on here and act like they be like, bro, I don't even want to speak on you more because I'm tired of going over the same, it's like, how can you go over the same, you keeping it real, honest, blunt truth, but you know, people don't want to hear the truth, they want to hear Fugazi ass, they hear made up lies, they want to, I don't, I don't understand it, so what I'm doing now is I'm just letting, I'm letting, all right, look, say this, however y'all want to live, y'all do that, leave me out of that, bro. But don't bring up nothing else to me. I promise y'all, I, I, I genuinely, I, I can't express this, bro. I genuinely moved on from a lot of shit. I don't care about them. But you see, I, I barely speak on shit. Barely speak on shit. I just keep, I keep to myself. I only speak on shit when it just comes to keep coming to me. But I, but it'd be so weird because it's like, for example, right? The moment I say, I miss my kid. Oh, he miserable. <laughs> it like, God. It like, the moment I say, yo, I just want a divorce. I'm tired of being in this. I just want to be let free. Oh, he miserable. Oh, he trying to get attention. It's like, like, God damn. It's like, this is real life situations. And y'all got to flip it every time. So that's why y'all don't see me speak on it. Now, I be getting irritated even when I be saying in the DMs. And talking about, go take care of your kids. like, huh? I think y'all like drummer. Oh, I know y'all do. I'm at that point where I'm over that shit, so. Uh huh. I understand y'all want to know my life just as you bad as I drama. want to, but y'all can't. I got a lot of shit people don't know about. My life is private. I laugh, I have fun. For an example, like people swear but down, they know about me and my twins so much, but I would never know that girl been in my life every day since she been here. And been real. Real love, real genuine support. Like, it's just like a real human. Like, it ain't all that fugazi shit. She ain't with the internet. Let me tell you something. See, it hit different when you talk to somebody. That ain't trying to make a living off social media. They got a real life. A lot of people have to try to make a living off social media. That's all they have. They don't have nothing else. I have a brand. I have a business. And What's I up, have other What's up, y'all? Got a family piece, so let's get into this team. We're about to, to get into court. I don't try to live off social media. That's why y'all don't see me on here as much as I used to be. Because my life is straight. No matter how, no matter what you think, your assumptions, I'm good. I don't got to get on here and prove a point to people. You know what I'm saying? I've learned so much. 
And it's just like, as I'm elevating. I make money from off of what y'all dumb ass put on the internet. Y'all want to put it on the internet? Ain't no way I'm going to miss out on that coin. Why would I do that? Y'all heard, um, what's the name? Juicy J say, made so much money off of dummies. If y'all decide to put y'all business out here, why wouldn't I react to it? Oh, I... <laughs> it's showing me. Don't you pull that. Don't you pull that, boy. Hey, slow that down, boy. You know, 392. I see you, buddy. But, um, yeah, it's like I don't got to get on here and prove a point to nobody, bro. I try my best. You know, I, like, if I ain't, if I ain't on here motivating people, like, having fun, giving y'all entertainment, I ain't on here trying to prove no point to nobody, bro. Dog better move the if I hit that baby. Only gonna be mad at me. I'm gonna pull the Draco out. <laughs> like, leave you alone, bro. You get your dog control that whole gangster. Yeah, but y'all see what I'm saying, though, huh? No. I'm pretty sure y'all understand what I'm saying. For all the ones that that's genuine, all the people that's real, all the people that got a real heart, y'all get what I'm saying, huh? Imagine dealing with this type of show. Imagine you just want to move on from a situation and they hold it in over your head, bro. It's Niggas be talking about a real heart. Boy, this is a gaslighting nigga right here. He would drive me crazy. Y'all, this man literally treated Karma like she was the scum of the earth. He still talk about it like she ain't nothing. Every chance he get, he disrespecting her motherhood. And she the one who got to be responsible for them while your ass ain't around. You're not around, unfortunately, because she feel as though you're going to take them from her. He live on TikTok right now. What is he saying? He's right. Where's wishy washy? I hate you today. I love you tomorrow. They'll hate you the next day after that. They'll love you for three, three days. It's like you, you can't you can't try to prove a point to people. Everybody, you're not you can't. It ain't going to happen, bro. I learned that the hard way. So so it's like. It's just weird, bro. Even even everything that I've been going through for the text last me past what six you months, typed it's in. weird. Like you feel me? Like people do anything to try to tear you down, bro, because that's what they want to see. They want to really see you up. People see you, you. Text me what you typed in there. When you growing, when you rising, they support you. But the moment when you hit a level where you just up <laughs> there, what did my you nigga, send me on you Patreon? Saying, they get tired of that because they want your spot, and people just can't accept it. So their goal is to tear it down. But you gotta just stay strong, bro. You can't let anybody else try to be tear you down, especially some shit you built thing about it is see a lot of people don't know who i am i get that that's okay though because i know who i am god know who i am a lot of y'all don't know what i've built i built all this i'm watching them live off what i built i don't give how i look how i sound mm. what you say i'm watching them about what i built it hit different and i go build it again with somebody else it's so easy if i did it with this person the fuck you think i can't do it again you see I'm how just he being said honest. i could take and one of you you see how he said build it with somebody else instead of having it himself it's wordplay. Y'all got to listen to TV it. in the lab right now if you're pretty or whatever. And I can boss you up. I swear to God I can. I'm my mama. It's so easy. He need the women. We know, though. But see, the difference is, you got a lot of people nowadays that doing this on social media. My shit genuine. Straight up. It wasn't for attention. It wasn't for to, to, to be something. It, my shit genuine. Everything Pure is knowledge. for attention. Which is another lie. Everything is for attention. You did this for the videos. You did it for the clout. You did it for the money. You did it for the views. Why niggas be lying? You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. So it's like, bro, I really don't be caring what people say because it's like, <coughs> it, it, it did, I don't know what the fuck people want me to be broke so goddamn bad. Like, that's another thing I want to speak on. What the fuck with that? <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> bro, I can never be broke. I don't just go gym and tell y'all that. I can't. It's like, this big ass brain of mine's in my head. This knowledge I got in my head, bro. The information I got in my head, bro. Who I am, bro. Cause Discord is not broke. working for me right now. You feel me? I can go zero dollars today. That don't mean I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like I am who I am. It ain't about the money. It's about the knowledge. It's about what's in your dome. It's about what you put out there for yourself. So it's just like, bro, I got too much going on for myself to be broke. So that's the last thing a nigga be worried about. But it's like. You know, life is way more than money, bro. And I'm, people don't understand that, bro. It's like, nigga, 
You could be you nigga, let me tell you something, bro. My Discord. You can have a million dollars and still be broke. Mentally. Some of y'all don't get that. Because just because you got a million dollars, bro, if you ain't genuinely happy, you feel what I'm saying? You ain't at peace in your life, bro. Mentally you're broke, bro. Understand that. Uh, text Stop me what you text it money. to me because I can't get, get in my Discord. Let me know a lot of y'all haven't touched no real well, money. Hold on, let me look at my once you touch real money, me and you will be able to have that conversation. We will be able to tell each other, like, yeah, boy, this shit, that money shouldn't be nothing. If you ain't where you need to be at mentally and physically, you know what I'm saying? Like, spiritually, it hit different. So, I don't know. That that That's why I never pay attention to that. I wanted to troll so bad. Part of me wanted to go get a tent so bad, bro. And go do a whole little series on YouTube, acting like I'm living out of a tent. Because I know that people want to see that so bad. Like, they, they what they want to look at is entertainment. But that just shows y'all, bro. Like, bro, I'm on a whole nother level, bro. I swear to God, I'm on a whole nother level, bro. I'm in a whole nother, I'm in a, in like the phase I'm in now, it's like, bro, it's like I'm in a level where it's like, you don't got to go backwards to continue to prove points to people that's below you. I hate to say it like that, but it's the truth. It's like the people below you, that's what they want to see. The people that's above you, they want you to come hang with them. They want you to see, they, like, it's more positive vibes. We don't sit around each other and we don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't seek drama. They don't, they not, they're not negative. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no no hate. Like, right, my they mentors and my friends, like. We all push each other to go harder. We all, you know, rise each other up and we we, we, we <clears throat> create experiences together where we enjoy life. Like, people that's below you, they want to see you, uh, I don't know, miserable, upset, broke, mad, angry. They want they, That's what they feed off of. So, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm genuinely sorry. It's just like, I'm past that level in life. Like, I've been past that level in life. That's why I am who I am today. So, it's just like, bro, people hate me so much, but... Nigga, it's only on social media. It's only on social media, bro. I never get this in real life. Never. In real life, like, people know who I am, so they value me. But, but at the end of the day, you know, I still have people on here that genuinely for me, that genuinely be inspired by me. You feel me? And and I, that's why I, I continue to just be who I am. But I genuinely don't post no more for real, for real, bro, because I'm living life outside of social media. I don't got to get on this and try to show y'all everything I'm through. I don't got to show y'all my my life like I used to because that was a stage in my life when I was coming up. It's levels now. I'm, I'm I'm surpassing different levels. I'm sorry to say it like that, but it's the truth, and I wish the same to y'all. I hope none of y'all just sit here and constantly be soaking in low vibration energy and shit out the damn social media app, bro. Like, what are you doing in real life? Like, what where, where your life at? Like, where you at? Like, you are you happy? Hey, are you? Are you working the job that you want to work? Gee, are hey, you living are you? the life that you desire? Hey, hey, are you yeah. happy in your relationship? Hey, is your yeah. relationship really the one that you want? It is. Are you where you want to be at spiritually, mentally, Absolutely. physically? Not physically. Like people get, get on social media together. and they turn their life off for a second and focus on other people's lives. They have to get off social media and then and go back and live back in my regular reality life. just to go to a nine to five job and deal. Oh, I'm glad that's not me. Listen, y'all. Like when I first started doing reactions, when I realized, like, okay. I started reacting for the positivity. The positivity was there. Suddenly, they started telling their business. And I'm like, y'all remember, I was in the transition with all of it, you know, for the most part. Like, that about <clears throat> 10, 11, 12-year mark, I wasn't at the 12-year mark. But four years before me was fun, YouTube. They was dropping a bag, too, by the way. I missed that train, but boom. In the 10-year mark, I'm actually going on nine years, but in the 8 to 12-year mark, nigga, YouTube was about fun. When y'all caught on here and started telling us y'all drama and then calling it tea, I want y'all to know the people that had the most drama originally was what people? Why people? Why people? Why people? These white bloggers will throw your ass up under the jail, the bus, everything. Okay? White people. Then, niggas started getting on here selling, um, talking about their tea. And then it was like, oh. So, when I was reacting to the positive side, everybody was happy. Oh, my God. She's so stupid. And then when I started reacting to the negative side, it was like, oh, my God. I thought you were my friend. Why Why are you reacting to my drama? If you're going to put it out there, I'm going to react to it. Period. 
Okay. So girl, I just want to put that out there. They they all of them have done this to themselves. What the shit they gotta deal with, and they turn That's shit off and get on social media because they forget their problems and go focus on other people's problems. I don't get how the hell y'all do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't get it. It's weird, you know? But you can't control where you can't control, so don't try. You just gonna stress you out. That's like, why well, I don't think about people. I don't care about shit. All I think about my life, you know what I'm saying, and what I got going on for myself. So it's like, the only thing right now that I'm saying is this here thing. Corey is good. No matter what the fuck y'all think, Corey is good. Corey is great. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sit here and act like a tough guy like, yes, I am hurting because I miss my boys. 100%. And I don't talk about it. You feel me? I don't show it because that's what people, they want to see you down. They want to see you sad. And it's really sad. But, like, I don't wish that's nobody, bro. Like, when them boys grow up, man, you know what I'm saying? They got to, it's like, it's, it's unexplainable. Like, I feel like any man can make <clears throat> a better relationship with their baby mama. Don't get me wrong, not all of them. Hell. But most can make a, re a better relationship with their baby mama. When they decide to stop insulting her and put their pride down. You have insulted this woman and then recently insulted her the other day again, which means you have not stopped. You don't have any respect for her. And she is the one that is holding the gun. So you want to get shot every time. And it doesn't make sense. Be respectful to your, to your children's mom. And we can continue to move forward. Y'all don't want to do that. So you have to pay the piper. Got to pay it. And that's it. That's all. So I don't know what they don't get about that. I don't know what the confusion is about. The woman is taking care of you. He says something like, you know, women, they harbor on shit and we just move forward. Right. Because y'all not the ones still watching the kids. Y'all not the ones still taking them to school. Y'all not the ones still getting them dressed every day. Y'all not the ones when you stressed out, um, you ain't got no help. Whether... Y'all make amends or not, she still ain't going to have no help. You wasn't helping when you was out. So <laughs> um, we know that because you was always outside. Every chance you got, you was outside. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he is truly a character, y'all. He is truly a like, character. Why, why what my dad at? Why my dad out of my life? And then a picture going to be painted as, like, I walked out my life. You know what bothered me? I really didn't want to talk about this real, for real. But it bothers me, man. Because it's like, I hate how she and y'all face and y'all ignore it. I have to deal with a situation where people say that I put them out. And, 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 you, and I'm painting a narrative like I put my kid out. You did. Come on, come on, man. The truth is, I'm left at night when I was out. It funny might part of the is that you left. It was all, the relationship was already going bad. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I still haven't even told y'all what really happened. For real, for real. Because they, they ain't spoke on it yet. Tell the real who you cheated with. Tell the real what really made this so wimps. We don't give a f We don't give a f I'm glad she wished your brother. I'm glad she got some extra dick on the side. Whether that was your bestie or not, you're lucky she ain't doing it in front of you. I'm so happy that that happened. How many women you done on this girl? Don't nobody give a fuck how you feel about it that. It's so bad. Somebody that was in my house. And? One of my brothers. And? You feel what I'm saying? Somebody that I brought around my almost every other thing. And this the person that you, you know what I'm saying? So he was probably treating her a little better. You was coming up a little short. Maybe not dick wise, but everywhere else. People think that I, I like just up and left me. No, bro. I got tired. I tried and I tried. I tried. I was fighting for this. I was fighting to be, to have a better marriage, a better relationship. Nobody didn't see this. Show. This is what y'all don't see. Y'all don't, don't see care. the bad. So y'all just go off the bad. So I got to <laughs> take the, I got to take the, you know, it's okay because I'm not perfect. You feel me? I done made a lot of dumb ass decisions and we shit. Know. So, you know, but the past don't, the past, huh? you can't, you, you can't justify the past with the future or the present. Ladies and gentlemen, gaslight. <laughs> That is called a gaslight. And he continues to gaslight. I know I did a lot of stuff, but let the past be the past and forget about it. No. Go for friends, sis. Make sure you keep a Glock. And make sure you got somewhere to stay.
Have your own money now. But go friend, girl. I'm all for it. <laughs> on this friend. Period. And what's happening now you feel what i'm saying that happened we moved on from that so you can't bring all that up people want to bring all this up that ain't what we at right now we moved <sighs> on from that they talk about what's really going on right and it's like bro when i when you packed your stuff up two times second time i packed everything put it back up you know i really i saw that this wasn't going nowhere you packed everything the first time Got you know what i'm saying me as a man i'm like all right you know what I just can't handle this shit anymore, you know. Let's just get this done because this is different, you know. Even though we married and shit, hit hit different. Like everything is in my name. Everybody trying to make it seem like, oh, he he trying to control. Like no, bro, everything is in my name and shit. Yes, she was. <laughs> because the person couldn't put that in their name. You could put none in your name. You could put none in your name. You're legal. You don't have no green card, no social security number, no nothing. The real don't know that though. We I don't, don't got to deal with this. Shit. We know that. I had to hold it weight with everything. I had to do this seven years, gang. I had to hold it weight for seven years. Motherfucker ain't had to pay a bill. He had to do none of that. This is shit don't. You the man, ain't you? Did you just complain about paying a bill when you was never giving her no money? I was the only one paying the bill. Here, y'all. You'd have to pay a bill. It, it's so much that wasn't being done, but it's like the nigga that really taking this shit on his shoulder and, and, and rocking this shit. It's like, come on, man. So, so it's like now I say you gotta leave because I'm not finna sit in the crib with nobody. That I didn't put my cow. I just told her you gotta leave. That, that 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 just dry you feel me doing what they want to do being sneaky and she's like right, cool so what make me mad is this like the people think that i put my key out so that's why they try to say that you don't deserve to see your key no you packed your stuff it was already in the garage only thing i did was i said all right where you going where you at i don't know where you went with my kid i can't see my key. all right cool i put the rest of the stuff outside and said come get your stuff i put my son bed crib outside because i don't know where my son at but i Let a man talk long enough, he'll tell on everything. You put his stuff out because you don't know where he was at. <laughs> Did you just admit it? <laughs> Whether my son have something somewhat comfortable to lay his head at, that just me being a father. I don't give how you I don't get your stuff. I put my son bed crib outside because I don't know where my son at. But I'd rather my son have something somewhat comfortable to lay his head at. That just me being a father. That was you being a father by putting your son bed out that was at your house. So you want him to have somewhere comfortable to lay at, so you put his bed out. So you want her to take the bed, which means she would have taken the key. You put him out. Now you finally admitting it. Got it. Okay. 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 Talk some more. I don't give how you put it. I don't know it yet. You're not bringing my kill. So at least I know that my comfortable wherever the bed, you feel me? <sighs> and hopefully that this shit will work out. But it didn't. Stupid. So all I'm saying is I don't like this narrative stupid, that's being painted stupid, on me by my kid. Like you act like you kept my kid. My mom, my brothers, everybody know. Like no, you was not that concerned about them when everything was good. That's a fact. 
It's a hundred percent fact. She probably wouldn't. Sometimes mamas need a break. You know what, y'all? After helping, after being a part of raising some cheer, you sometimes mama need a break. And even Carmen admitted to needing a break. And you know, you just don't know. Uh, because these men don't give a f either way. So she needed some help. You wasn't helping. You was always outside. She probably wasn't there how she was supposed to be as a mom because she didn't have the mental capacity to be able to do so. But you won't know that, especially when you ain't a mama. Especially um, when you ain't helping anyway. Everybody know this real for real fan. Anybody on social She's media even that haven't stepped a foot in our life, that haven't been there seeing what's really going on, how it's really happening, y'all just going out with the foul see on social media. Like, that's why I be trying my best to stay cool because it's like, all right, even though she ain't painted away, we know the real. Everybody around us. You you just you just painted her whole picture. Well, she told us you literally just admitted it with your stupid ass. I wouldn't have never came on this on this here internet and said I put that baby bed out. I would have had to take that one to the grave. I don't know where the baby gonna be at, but at least he'd be comfortable. So you send a woman out with no car. Um. You send out with no car, no nothing, no Uber black, no nothing, and think she would be able to tote the bed, you <laughs> What up she gonna put it at, Corey? She ain't got no car. Ooh. Yeah. You can only fake for so long. After a while, the truth will come off your face. His like, elevator don't go, go all the way up. Go Boy, I'm trying to take. It it's so easy for people to try to make another person look bad, especially with lies. You feel me? And especially when the other person ain't really even. It shows she never the lied. He can because he's protecting you. He just admitted that she didn't lie. Crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, all I'm gonna say is this: No, I I never put my account. Yes, she did. I didn't put my account. Yeah, you did. He left. You left with my kid. I gave you the key stuff because you took my kid. Idiot. You see what I'm saying? It's no. It's just that simple, gang. You don't get no simpler than that. And the divorce, I don't understand what the going on with this situation. Because what the real don't know is when motherfucker came to Alabama in February when they was if hiding the whole time. If he took that to court, do you know they would? The real eat, that we was together. They would eat his ass up. A judge would be like, you did what? Yeah, man, I had put the I had put they stuff out because they wasn't going to be staying with me no more because she wouldn't give them back. I would have kept my baby's house. You, if you're going to take them, bet. I'm going to court in the morning because <laughs> I need to make sure I'm going to see my carrot. I would have been took her ass to court, okay? <clears throat> Whatever I got to do, I'm, we going to court. And when my babies come back to me, they gonna have a bed. They gonna have a bed. Man, a judge would chew his ass apart. Carmen, I hope you collecting all this evidence. This nigga stool. He not okay. Stupid. But we was together. Stupid. Enough. I got tired because we got into an argument. But I drove my car all the way to my government to the divorce to the courtroom to get a divorce. Then say a word to this person the whole entire ride, it was like a four to five minute drive. They say a word the whole time. Then as soon as I pull up, I get them. Like, All right. You know, you ready to go do this? No, you know I don't want to do this. All right, so what we doing? We going to fix this wet because I'm ready to get a divorce. So we get this show. Ain't no way we drove 45 minutes. You talking about you ain't ready. Are we, are we doing this? And I'm going to tell y'all something. I got to take accountability. Oh. Lord knows that. I knew in my head that that's what I should have did, and I should have went forward with it. Even though a person told me that they don't want to do that, all that that's fixed, they don't do that. I should have got my ass, I got the car. I should have walked in that building, and I should have went on ahead and went done with this process. I swear to God, I should on my on my on my dead sister, but I didn't. And now I'm stuck in this situation. It's like the weirdest ever. It's like I'm cool, like I don't wish no harm, no nothing. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, you I, do. I can move on my life. It's a Keep million girls to get them here, from her. A nigga ain't sitting here pressed by no one female. Please don't get this understood, misunderstood. <laughs> I'm just saying, 
Please don't get this misunderstood. <laughs> a nigga ain't never pressed by no one female. I don't bro. think so you want like, that at all. But it's like this, it, it get deep, bro. We both over this bitch commit adultery like this is normal. I don't like this because I'm not gonna be here sitting miserable because this shit gonna get signed. Like, goddamn, I do want to live my life too. You feel me? Like, I do want to move on, but it's like you God. just admitted to committing adultery. Just oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god, if evidence was a person, god damn, bro, just sign these papers so that for everything could just be over with. It's, it's like everything is being talked about, but what need to be talked about? We ain't got to talk about nothing else anymore. The past is in the past. It happened, it's over with. We moved on, I moved on, life is, is good. Why is everything still keep being talked about and brought up and played with? Like, bro, I'm done with it. Like, just sign these paper, let me see my keep on with life. Everything be straight. Right? Am I right? Damn, do I got a point? I know people hate me, but the real is the real, bro. Right. Then people try to turn around and make it sound like I'm miserable. I'm not miserable at all, bro. I don't think he's miserable. Not when it comes to karma. I don't think he want karma no more. Hell, I wouldn't either. After all this, leave me alone. But you want to make her miserable because she's making you miserable. I'm, I'm living my best life, gang. I swear I am. I would have been in some crazy little situations, but thank God I escaped them situations. <laughs> and I learned from them situations. It's like the last two situations I had, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, tr I was just trying, I was being me. And you know what's so funny, bro? Why you know, I, I, I put this on everything I love, bro. And female on this line, and female that was that, oh. that come around me, y'all see who I really am. Y'all see the heart that I have. Y'all see that this nigga really is not nowhere near wet people try to paint him on social media. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all one thing, but watch this. And I'm going to leave it at that because y'all can take y'all opinion and run with it. Who the prize? Who was the prize in every last one of my last situation? Who was the trophy? <laughs> Not you. Who have the most value? And when I when, when I decided to leave, now I'm this bad guy. Oh, he this, he that, he that, he that. But when this was what it was, and you know who I really was, but all that situation. Hold on, y'all. Give me, uh, we need a break from this nigga anyway. Sick of his ass.